I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man sucks. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Working Class Souls Podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in the break room with my co-host, Josh Accardo. Ed, What's we up, are embarking buddy? on quite the journey today. Journey in. Not only are we going to end up in Houston before day's end, if you're listening to this now, uh, but we have a really funny comic that actually just shot his special right down the street. I've heard amazing things about him. You're going to love him. Jake Vivera. Did I nail it? <laughs> it's it's Vevra. Vevra. Again, again. Again. He got in my head. He uh, Jake yeah. got in my fucking uh-huh. head. I knew it. I did. I love it. I, I told was... you it was spelled wrong. And it is. I wasn't even going to correct you. I saw it happen. Dude, oh, it's, it's so spelled good. Vivera. <laughs> you said it the way it's spelled. Any asshole that gets mad about the pronunciation of their name when it's fucking spelled wrong, they should spell it phonetically or they should shut up. That's what I said. I pride you know? myself like as because with my dyslexia, even in acting, I like go over shit. I'm like, I get yeah. this. And I had it. And then when you started saying by the eighth time people's names I shit it out wrong, I'm like, yes, dude, I'm gonna shit it out wrong. You sat down and I saw the glaze hit your eye. Yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be good. Never apologize <laughs> for getting an Eastern European last name wrong. It's we're dumb fucking gypsies. Our ancestors couldn't spell. You understand? If Czechoslovakians were more literate, that place would still oh, be a country. Dude, That's what I say. Czech women are so hot. They are. <laughs> they have a whole genre of porn dedicated to them. I digress. Oh, I digress. Sorry. Right. <laughs> it was about to take a turn. I heard my great great grandmother was a piece of ass. And like the greatest natural tits you've ever seen. Yeah. Let's just turn the camera. It was on her dude, it was on her tombstone. They put that. Greatest natural tits you've ever yeah. seen. Yeah, here lies the greatest uh, pair of natural tits you've ever seen. Of course her first name was a bunch of consonants all mushed together all Easter. Her name was Cos but it was like the hottest woman you've ever seen. Jake Vevro, what's your worst day job? Worst day job. They're all most of them are equally bad in their own own separate ways so i'm going to start off with my first one i was bricklaying when i was 12 for my father and grandfather wow. that's worse yeah. than your 12 year old job yeah 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 i masonry. was washing dishes at 12 but yeah yeah, yeah. brick masonry bro <laughs> we i used to shit talk the 12 year old dishwashers <laughs> Yeah. Uh-huh. You would throw a brick at a young yeah. man. Of That's right. That's right. I would throw the brick through the window. The, the kids in my family that were washing dishes. Yeah. I called them house peppers. That's what I called them. House peppers. Yes. House peppers. He's That's pulled right. out a putty, putty knife yeah. on a playground. Let right, me solve this. So we, my, every day I pick my son up, there's a... a masonry temple i guess you would call it oh yeah yeah uh, the masons, masons, yeah the masons, masons yeah that's associated with brick lane correct i to a, i to don't an know extent well the freemasons yeah that was like some kind of old school like secret uh, society like yeah yeah kind of thing right i always thought it was associated with brick lane solely because they operate it's called masons. build the city Freemasons. Yeah. I mean, Mason is in the name yeah yeah so. yeah, yeah, and yeah, the yeah, yeah. Of the guy somewhere. is like laying yeah. some yeah right yeah. yeah these dudes are they have guards out front all the time, and my son is super friendly, two year old kid, and he always goes up to talk to him. And yeah. I'm always thinking, like, what's going on in there? Are we can't be brick? anything that crazy. It's it's well yeah. because now it's like if you're in a secret society that's you know it's a cabal that controls everything. The first step to a secret society is don't put the fucking thing yeah. on the building. You know what I mean? <laughs> so everybody who's like, oh, they secretly control everything. It's like they're maybe two hundred years ago. Now they're advertising it. Yeah. You don't advertise they're the Catholic shit. Church now. You yeah, I mean? right. They're trying it's, to get people back. Yeah, to the secret society. Yeah, they're they're old men that, that drive around the tiny cars with the stupid hats. That's all they do now. When I was in Philly, I worked at a TGI Fridays. One of the line cooks could not stop talking about how he got into Freemasons. So yeah, he showed so it's me like the, the ring. The Friars was like, Club before it closed. Comics are like, yeah, I'm at the Friars Club. Why? <laughs> All right. Case in point that the Freemasons don't run the world. He's a line cook. Exactly. Okay. He's not even the GM. He's not even the GM of a restaurant. Like he would be at least a sous chef. Yeah. If they With ran his connections, anything. you should be a sous chef. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Two hundred years ago, he would be uh, owning the restaurant. 
on. But now he's he's saying yes, sir. He's, he, he's putting up two burgers. He's like, yeah, ringing, ringing yeah. the bell. Yeah. Uh-huh. He's telling yeah. you about it. <laughs> yeah, a crackhead that works at TJF trying to impress you about his Freemason Show membership. Show me the ring. Yeah, yeah. he's like, he had, he had the air like it's all about to turn around. Do you see that? Right. <laughs> Freemasons, you're merely on sale at best these days. That's what I see. You're the coals of secret society, yes. you Freemason yes. brick. Building bricks, do you have to make the bricks on your own or wasn't that serious? You just had the bricks well, already no, made? No, no, no. The bricks them. are made. I would, uh, what I would do is I would carry the bricks and the cinder blocks to them. I would, uh, I would mix the mortar because that, and that was harder than carrying the yeah. giant things of like bricks and cinder blocks. What because, goes into mortar? Well, I'm it's, fascinated. it's basically, if you're a, if you're a cement co- or a brick laying company that has, you, you know, proper equipment and everything, you have a cement mixer. It's those big yeah. trucks that like, <laughs> like turns them around. We didn't have that. It was just my, my grandfather, my dad, and my uncle. And then whatever grandkids would work for four dollars an hour, you know, wow. and and so we would take a giant like trough that was maybe it, it, it ten by five something like that, and I would take a garden hoe and we would mix buckets of sand, buckets of water, and then these giant so bags a human of cement mix. mixer, basically. Yeah, yeah, Holy yeah. It's, it's 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 the 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 actual concrete mix was these giant bags of what was looked like kind of grainy gray flour yeah. and but there were these giant bags of it and you'd mix that buckets of sand buckets of water and then you would take a garden hoe and chop it and mix it until oh. this whole thing was cement and that's my question too is that all it is sand and water no it's sand and water and the mortar mix and the mortar yeah mix. so it's three parts so and, my, that, and that goes on top of the brick to put the other brick and yeah yeah that goes in between okay, the bricks and the, sticks them just together just you, you at home don't do manual labor well, or, or like it's me. yeah or it's you know sidewalks and stuff like that yeah, oh, all okay. the, anything cement yeah. right, I got this great story about my grandfather my dad would talk about how cheap he was that um, he uh, would go down to the Neshaminy Creek just load the trunk up with sand to make his own concrete. He broke the frame on that car. <laughs> put so much sand in the trunk. It's <laughs> heavy. Did he yeah, work in construction? It's fucking heavy. Or is it just no, for a house project? He was doing a new this patio. This is your grandfather that would keep all of his papers by his uh, The other chair? grandfather, but oh. yeah. <laughs> like, that guy ain't fucking collecting sand. No. He sounds like a guy that loves his leisure time. No, the other one, he built uh, horseshoe pits and he made the uh, with the concrete. Oh. Yeah. His whole thing was like, he would like concrete and my dad, I'll never forget my dad getting yelled at by him because he brought in real masons with yeah. like a truck for their patio at uh-huh. the house. He's like, "What are you doing? What are you're you? You're not going to cement <laughs> cuck me in my own home. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Uh-huh. Are they going to fuck my wife too? Are they going to fuck my wife? Are they going to pave my sidewalk and then fuck my wife? Because they might as well at this point. I can't believe a son of mine. <laughs> Ethel, get out here. <laughs> Blow this guy. You might as well blow him. And snowball your son. Yeah. He's, he's a, a Freemason, but he's getting paid today. Yeah. I just love like uh, that story about Jerry Rice, how his dad would throw him bricks. His dad was a brick really? player. Oh. And that's how he would train, he said, is his dad that's pretty would awesome. throw him bricks. And that's how he learned how to catch. <laughs> Boom. Holy shit. And he showed a picture of his dad, and he was like one of those country ass dudes with the jerry curl like uh, black dude yeah. giant yeah, yeah, yeah. giant black man and just heaving bricks at him. <laughs> yeah dude when jerry rice watched the movie dodgeball he was like if you can dodge wrench you can dodge ball that ain't shit wrenches are for pussies i took bricks to the face when i was seven i mean unbelievable yeah well, so dude, that's why stuff happens on a family-owned business like that where you're doing manual labor i mean they must just treat you like one of the guys yeah, pretty much. I mean, it was at the time my, my grandfather ran the company, but but didn't anymore by then because he was pretty old, you know, so my, my dad ran it. And yeah, I would just do sort of the grunt work and mm-hmm. it was just sort of, hey, carry everything while we lay the bricks. This is in and, Pennsylvania? Uh, Iowa. Yeah. Uh, Iowa. Oh my God, it's in the winter you're doing it too? Uh, mostly, mostly the summer. summer. Mostly yeah. summer. I, it was like a summer job. Summer job. You know? yeah. 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 So like how many years did you do it? Oh, uh, just just two. It was, uh-huh. yeah, I did it for 12 and 13. Yeah, nice. Yeah, and it was great. yeah, just fucking brick lane, <laughs> brick lane. <laughs> All yeah, uh-huh. till you were old enough Dude. to legally get a job. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, they paid me less than minimum wage. Of course, and I complained. I complained to my grandfather about this, who wasn't running the company at, anymore at the time. I was like, you know, minimum wage right now in Iowa is like six dollars. I'm I'm getting paid, you, you know, way less than I'm getting paid four dollars. 
and that's 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 kind of messed up. I'm he, getting immigrant looks, wages. Yeah, right. And you know, I was born here. <laughs> I'm an anchor baby. Damn it, pay me. And uh, no, I I told him I was like, you know, it's it's way it's significantly less than minimum wage. And my grandfather looked at me. He's like, you can pay four dollars to do all this. And I said, yeah. And he says. When I was running the company, I only paid your cousins too. I got to talk to your dad. Oh wow! Like, what? So you fucked yourself? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? You got a yeah. pay cut. Uh-huh. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. Into a pay cut. Yeah. Uh-huh. Just got demoted, dude. <laughs> it was. I, I tried to create a one a one boy union. I was a one boy you didn't union. Even bring in the other cousins with yeah. you. Yeah. You try to go in for yourself. What That's right. I was a one boy union, and I got I got beat up by the union boss <laughs> busters. My grandfather. With with their scaly cracked gravel hands, you know yeah, the I gravel bet. puts oh, pits. Yeah. Dude, their dude, yeah. their hands were fucked. Dude, like lizards, bro. Yeah. yeah, there's no lotion to cure those hands. No, the there's not. Layer. They have pits in them. They have pits. Yeah. They turn them. They slowly turn them into sidewalks, <laughs> <laughs> and all kind of fucked up. Shit, not like the smoothed over sidewalks. I'm talking about the sidewalks in a with with bad kids around who who, who scribble their names and dicks and swastikas in them. That's that's what my 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 grandpa and dad's hands like a swastika. You know how like yeah. Richards puts like concrete on his nails to keep them for the guitar. Oh, does yeah. he? I didn't pick a lot that. of oh, really? like guitar players that are legit guitar players will concrete their nails. I feel like. <laughs> That's something that bricklayers have, right? They, I feel they like your do. grandfather could fucking rip on a banjo. He, he could. <laughs> no, but He'd I'm rip sure the cords in half. Uh, just exfoliate your skin off your back. <laughs> with what? No. Ball. Hey, Here's, hey, they, they will. will. Hey, like your balls. <laughs> <laughs> they will, though. This is what my dad told me at 12. He was like, I don't want you to do this when you grow up. A, it's terrible for your body. B, Women hate the way this feels oh, yeah. when you have sex, and I was yeah. like, "Yeah, I mean, in a tit with uh-huh. those hands, fuck. It'll, yeah. dude, it will female circumcise a lady if you try to please them. It's crazy. It'll shave it right off. It's like the guy in Goodfellas, how he cuts the onions, or like yeah, all them. It's like uh-huh. your fingers could do. On yeah, someone's clit, <laughs> just rubbing layers of skin off a clit. He comes That's home. That's right. Jake comes home. He sees uh, Amy's like cleaning the dishes. He's like, "No, oh, no, I got it." He just rubs his hand yeah. on a. On a uh-huh. just, just, some, <laughs> I've ruined the cast iron pan again. <laughs> Little palm olive <laughs> on the oven. <laughs> hey, you Jake, we're going over. Hey, we got no a tough problem. stain over here. Call Jake. <laughs> you, let me, you let it get rusty. You let it get rusty. Let me scrape that off of there. That's like a with no glory. One of the jobs. It's like being a pro wrestler in the eighties. Yeah. yeah, your body's all fucked up, but there's a little bit of glory there, even if you did the indie Pretty circuit. Pretty much. But when you're doing a when you're bricklaying, you're just a guy on the line. Yeah. There is no story about your body being wrecked except for, yeah, I, I just built a brick house every day of my life for 40 years. It's pretty awful. By the time I was 16, I looked and sounded like Mickey Rourke in The Wrestler. <laughs> it was pretty R- wild. Riches. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got a mustache already? Yeah. Uh-huh. He's, just, he's got that concrete cough. That, that's like, right. For breathing it in. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's that the mortar. One. Yeah. <laughs> that mortar cough. some good mortar in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> The teachers in high school. Um, yeah, your son has black lung. <laughs> what have you been doing? To Canary him? flew out of his mouth. <laughs> I tried to. I tried to cut my finger on the meat grinder, like at the end of that movie. But I just broke the. I just broke the thing with my concrete fingers. So I just broke the saw. Yeah, you get it like didn't work. Deli, you get like a deli job. Yeah, so you're breaking all the, uh-huh. all the knives. <laughs> my buddy's dad was a, a like a Portuguese fisherman, legit, like for. 30 years from the 60s into the 90s. He said his dad's from the ropes. You know? Oh, yeah. He said his dad's it. hands were so callous from yeah. the ropes, he could take a boiling pot off the stove with uh, no gloves and move it to another. That's no wild. problem. That's no problem at all. That's crazy, man. Yeah. That's crazy. And yeah, I mean, if you're... A lady's gonna feel that everywhere. Like that's gonna be awful. Yeah. That's gonna it's be a like tough sandpaper. tough woman to be with you. Yeah. It would take a tough woman. Sandpaper nipples. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but everything's like a wearing like an oven mitt, right? Like so, you're yeah. just going in, like you're grabbing a boob uh-huh. and you're just like mashing it. Yeah, you, you, don't you feel can't even. You have probably. no like uh, sensitivity. Yeah, mm-hmm. that really bummed me out. Those guys probably like pussy. Yeah, those are guys that really like pussy. <laughs> I imagine. Yeah, yeah. Like, more so, like what other joy in your life would you have as a bricklayer? But maybe smoking a joint, definitely drinking some schlitz. That's right. Uh-huh. And fucking. Yeah. And and the cool thing about it with the, with those crazy uh, 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 Edward Scissorhand fingers or whatever, like you you get to skip foreplay every time. Every time you just <laughs> no, go right no, no. in. Just your yeah. mouth. <laughs> yeah. They just say like, no, no, I'm just so hot and ready. Just skip that. Just Don't skip that. Just use your mouth all over yeah. me. Yeah. Uh huh. That's right. What other, do you have any other manual labor jobs? 
Uh, yeah, I worked in a warehouse after high school at an organic food factory. Or uh, not factory, but warehouse, and and uh, that was that was pretty rough too. I guess you know it was just long hours, lifting a lot of boxes and things like that. So while but, you're doing stand up and pursuing it, these are the kind of jobs you're you're doing, or no, what, what normally now is like before. Oh, dude, cakewalk now. I work in radio. Yeah. I, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I work at Sirius XM. I'm, I'm a producer on the uh, the Progress Channel. Oh. It's, it's like a liberal talk channel, you know? That's and, great. Uh, so yeah. you work in the industry then? Yeah, yeah. And it's, dude, it's so much when easier than brick. there for a while, too. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I started probably about uh, seven, eight years ago. Yeah. Uh, you know, at first I would just kind of fill in on the different talk channels and things. Um, you know, some small permanent spots every week but you know not enough for like a full-time job and then yeah. other just a floater but it was technically part-time so they didn't have to give me benefits or whatever really were you doing your you. podcast there too uh, no 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 no, there, no I, I wasn't doing the podcast there oh, but oh, oh. uh yeah, it was. Uh, I would just kind of fill in on different talk channels, and I got a full time spot. Now I was doing full time hours because you can just say yes to as many spots as they offer yeah. you, and eventually they're going to pay you for it. They're just right. going to give you the benefits of a full time. job. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's it's sort of that's how gotcha, gotcha. that's how companies get a, a, around the whole mandatory thing of giving people benefits. Is yeah. they're like, well, we don't have any. We've got two full time employees and yep. a whole army of temps and part time yep. people yep. who just take they extra hours. Yeah. Sometimes. They backdoor yep. you, yep. Uh -huh. just like yeah, anything yeah, yeah. else. Yep. What um. So seven, eight years ago, you get into like basically a job that's in the industry, you yep. know, indirectly. But how do you even get there with all your jobs being warehouses and Brick Lane? And I mean, I, that's a funny uh, jump. <laughs> I, I don't want to say I completely George Santos to my resume. <laughs> Uh, I will say I really made my podcast editing, uh, you, you know, yeah. for free experience sound like a college radio. Game. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you. it's not that far off. I'm bet no, I mean it's not. It's not. And and when you compare like like the the college radio equipment to what they got going on, it's serious. Yes. Yeah. It might as well be podcast editing because if you're if you're yeah. dicking around with uh, you know Audacity, would, Adobe Audition, yeah. uh -huh. that's more in line with what you would be doing anyway. Way. Absolutely, and yeah, yeah, and yeah. in terms there of the shift. soundboards, they're so different anyway. Yeah. You're gonna, you would need to be retrained. Yeah, as I if feel you had like done they're now hour. meshing. Yeah, and, and yep. when I read that, you know, Sirius lost all those subscribers at the end of the first quarter, three hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. Oh, I didn't read about that. Yeah, they took a huge hit oh, in shit. the first quarter. This is going out on on the internet, right? That's fake news. Uh, <laughs> I don't believe that. That's Russian misinformation. <laughs> He's spouting Putin lies. This is his podcast, not mine. All right. If he wants to talk to Kremlin and, and, and blow his comrade overseas there digitally through this podcast, that's that's his prerogative. I won't do it. Sirius XM lost no subscribers. They gained that many. <laughs> they, you, you know what? Uh, we'll agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you know what I mean. You're my guest, and I want you to feel yeah, comfortable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, the reason why I bring it up is because podcasting is so huge now that I feel like the game that kind of bred podcast, which is yeah. the streaming radio game, is now going to have to kind of align with. Oh, it's like got to be a huge. A, yeah, yeah, right. There's a, there's a huge like. Uh, what is comp there's a huge amount of competition yes. now with oh uh, they're buying oh podcasts God. they they, they spent like 100 now. million oh, on uh, yeah. the smart yeah. list that, that one that had yes. like uh, tons of money on smart yeah list. They, they just I had that was spotify but no serious did serious that. did that oh, one serious okay. did that one yeah right. spotify did rogan spending tons and, of money on podcasts yeah i heart was gonna uh -huh. i think i heart claimed bankruptcy two years ago oh i could be wrong but i definitely I think, had some I think they did financial problems but i we know somebody or i know somebody in the game over there for their podcast network and they are buying them up yeah, because that's where the money is. Baby. Yeah, there yeah. we go. That's it. Sign it is, up. I heart. Sign up for uh, working class souls. Yeah, it's, it's kind of funny too, man, because <laughs> a lot of a lot of the hosts and producers there, like like when I yeah. first started, would really just shit talk podcasts. Not like some podcasts, but like just as a medium, as a like genre. genre. Yeah, they're yeah. like guys, you're in talk radio. Yeah. In the in the it's late the new evolution, the How evolution not, of talk it, radio. It, yeah. I mean, up until the point where yeah. Spotify gave Rogan a hundred million dollars. Yep. Uh, I mean, it shocked a lot of these old like boomers and working in their money. They're like, huh? People are listening to these. It's like, yeah, dude. A lot, I, a lot of people are listening to podcasts. I mean, people man. are building careers off of it. Like yeah. comics that you're like, yeah. That that how'd this guy get on? You're like, oh, he, his podcast just right. blew up. Yeah. Right. Fuck. Like, I remember in, uh, like, 2006 and 7 and 8, I spent a lot of time in the Sirius building. Coolest fucking thing ever. Yeah, that was great like there. the golden era of like because oh, Stern that, man. moved yeah. over uh -huh. yeah, like just Stern recently. There, like, Opie and Anthony would still been there. Or something yeah, he like moved that, over. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Every, o and, o and A was there. Yeah. Yep. And then if you got to that lobby, 
every celebrity ever that yeah. was promoting something yeah. would have yeah. to come across you. Yeah. So if you were there for three hours, you'd run into massive celebrities. Yeah. Right. It was yeah. awesome. Cool. So cool. A lot of them are doing remote now. That yeah, it's uh, remote because the pandemic opened pandemic. up a whole new world. Yeah, and and you you'll still see people in there. You'll still like yesterday. I saw Journey in the fishbowl. I the yeah. When I got to work, with they the were Filipino playing. Kid. Yeah, yeah, dude. He was, oh, he was belting out wheel yeah. in the sky. Yeah. He's like a 45-year-old. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say he's older than all of us. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's also 40 years yeah. younger than everybody else in the band. Yeah. Yeah. That young Filipino boy, only 47 dude, years guy, old. That guy cooks, bro. Dude, yeah, it's dude, amazing. He he's cooks. He's the man. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So cool. I'd almost rather see him than Steve Perry. Absolutely. Well, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, live, yeah. but I want to see Steve Perry do one song. Like, if they could bring right. Steve Perry out for one song and then get him out of there and then they bring duet? the Philippines. The two of them duet? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> the earth would explode. <laughs> <laughs> they just kind of, they're like one up in each other. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Who can be more Steve Perry? <laughs> <laughs> so you get in, you fake yeah. it, you make it. Yeah. But before that, what were you doing that caused you to go, I can't do this anymore? I need something that's. Oh man, a little more stable indoors, whatever. I pr probably the worst job I had, like when I first moved to New York, was real estate, renting Ooh. apartments. So you were like a broker. That's yeah. Oh, dude. God. Dude, it was a goddamn God. nightmare. What year was oh. it? It was a goddamn the nightmare. So this would have been. This would have been. I mean, I, it's always their heyday and never. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, they're everywhere, That's but so seven true. of them are making money, and the rest are barely making rent. It's like a thing called comedy. It's kind of like that. It's, it's a third world like business. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then people will tell you stuff like, oh, you should get into selling condos in the West Village. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. It, it's sort of like when you hear people go, oh, you should try doing Madison yeah. Square Garden yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, you ever yeah. think about playing there? It's like, oh, yeah, why don't I think of that instead of doing this bar show on my way to SNL? No, no, yeah, I never thought yeah. of SNL. It's, yeah, yeah, I told I'll tell Lauren Michaels to suck my dick and I'm doing a bar show Lauren I don't have time to fucking audition for you that's right that's what I told him maybe I should you think I should text him back you think I should maybe apologize no ghost him <laughs> oh my God. but I I always love that like uh the, the I remember trying to get an apartment here when I first moved here and every broker it was Nightmare. demise with the same guy oh. same guy even though they're a different Dude. ethnicity Yes. Then the next one, yes. it was just like the worst. You deal with the shittiest people, people in real and estate. And then you got to meet the worst. It seemed like an awful job on his end, solely to have to meet oh, up yeah. with people. I don't yeah. want to meet up yeah. with anybody. And it's they pretty flake. awful. They it's flake all like, the time. Oh, what was one of the craziest shits that ever happened to you there? Like what? Oh, probably. You got to go into people's apartments that still live there too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So uh, what's that like? Wait, like you, you see people living in filth. Yeah, normally it's not too bad though. The 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 stuff where people are still living there. Uh, that's not as bad because for the most part the the management company is not going to show it if it's in too bad a shape and even when they do i can warn the client and i can be like look they're going to fix it up they're going to you know they can do the math on that one you know um there was there was a few times where like like squatter like crackheads yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah. will go into the vacant ones when and you'll show where an apartment with crackheads. <laughs> what area? What Dude, all right, one of all right, oh. one of my proudest moments as a broker, you know? And I'm not talking I was not the guy on the real estate shows. I'm like showing open listings. I'd been in the city for twenty minutes and, and taking You're people lost going yeah, to the listings. Yeah, it's it's I would get sent by by a, a, a higher broker. Eventually I kind of did it more independent, but I would get sent by another guy sending me to an open listing to a neighborhood oh, I'd never been in and I'm just lying to the client going it's a great neighborhood you know what I mean I just moved here from Iowa 20 months you know 20 weeks ago I'd like, I was like I had no idea what I was talking about you know and they were like oh what's your favorite restaurant that one you know <laughs> it's fucking great try the burrito it's a Chinese restaurant yeah it's a fusion you know I just lie to people <laughs> one of my proudest moments man I'm going to show this uh going to show this apartment and there were certain uh, uh landlords who you know didn't run their own credit so again i'm not going to say we used to george santos people's financial credentials and things like that but <laughs> you just want the you want the fee so bad you're like uh, yeah we, we well, there them. was there was some uh, uh landlords that wouldn't run their own credit so I wouldn't Photoshop stuff. I'm just saying it <laughs> could be done. What seemed like somebody who would never get approved somehow miraculously with certain landlords who didn't get their financial stuff directly from them, uh, uh, people would get approved. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like uh, it, it was, anyway, one of these landlords, a, a, a kid who you know his finances weren't in the 
best shape. Like, like we wouldn't just flat out move people in who couldn't pay because then sure. it's like, all right, well, na- now they will stop working with you if yeah, you're just yeah, flat yeah. out oh, moving in. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. If you're just making up people out of thin but air if you, if you don't and have they're the constantly getting war, evicted. But you definitely have a pay stub that shows you can pay. That's a different story. Well, right. Yeah, or, or close. Like because some of the landlords, especially if we're talking Manhattan, mm-hmm. they're so crazy where it's like you need to make 80 well, times rent in one year. It's and you like, got to be liquid six months rent. Uh, yeah, insane? and it's like, dude, oh, oh yeah, let me, let me just find Rockefeller's own only to move into these places, yeah, right. you know That's what I mean? How they and, do that? Yeah. Oh yeah, it, it, I would look what they're paying for rent. I had just come from Iowa, and it was a total midnight cowboy moment where I would just look at <laughs> three thousand for a one bedroom, and that Harry Still song would play in the background. I'm like, what? This is to buy it, right? This is for the whole year. Like it, someone just hands you a tiny cowboy hat yeah, right. around the, the neighborhood. <laughs> Dude, it was, it was awful. I but anyway, I'm going to show this guy. Uh, he was pretty young, you know. This this apartment, you could tell he had gotten shot down by a lot of places. Oh, Those yeah. were always my favorite because yeah, then yeah, it's like, sure. okay, he just disheart, just yeah. totally defeated. Uh-huh. It's I like them when they're at their lowest. <laughs> I don't like you at your best beginning work. of your search. Yeah. <laughs> you get to do your speech. You yeah. get to lie to him and they uh-huh. believe it. He's like a yeah. bookie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I just take like Ursula generous. from The Little yeah. Mermaid. Uh-huh. <laughs> I want to see somebody that has the look in their eyes as somebody at a 12-step program. You know what I mean? Getting that poker chip on day one. Get that 30-day yeah. chip. Uh-huh. He's literally got one day left before yeah. he's homeless. That's right. That's right. That's what I know I got to say. I'm getting a commission check out of this kid. Yeah. Uh-huh. Just wait at the bus stop. Yeah. <laughs> he's got Penn Station. Hey, looking for a place. Look a little down in your luck, pal. <laughs> Low rent. <laughs> <laughs> he's on a watch from no his fucking uh-huh. check. That's right. That's right. That's right. This dude would blow somebody to get the fee. I'm getting a fee. But uh, I so I, I get there and I I had shown this apartment before there were th- this building, so I, I knew it pretty well and the they'd just leave the vacant ones unlocked. I knew something was up when it was locked. And then I'm knocking on the door. And I'm like, oh, God, I hear a voice. Hey, one second. Sorry. You know, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. This crackhead lady opens it up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And she's she's lively. You oh, know, she yeah, wasn't yeah. like coming down at all. Oh, she yeah. was. Uh, she was at peak. She's yeah. Like, oh, peak crack. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, she's like, oh, cool company. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> yeah. That's the more you want. It was friends. great. After you she, yeah. Smoked a rock. She's just like yeah. untying an apron. She's like, oh, uh-huh. you're here. <laughs> Dude, I rented this kid an apartment with a crackhead in it. <laughs> yes. yes. So, all right, he said yes. yes. So you, what he do you said say yes. No, 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 go back. Go dude. back. What do you say to her when she opens the door, though? She, I'm, I'm sort of Are just you playing it like she yes. lives there. No, so she, it was know? very obvious that she did not live there because there was no furniture or belongings at all, except for her socks moving. and underwear, which were on the radiators. <laughs> and it was very obvious this was a homeless crackhead. This was not someone with a residence. It was very obvious what happened. I love you, like you know, she's actually already kind of been moving as she's waiting to get her last day. Yeah, she's just like this is what she does. No, it's not what was going on. We couldn't even see the. Couldn't even fake that. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't even see the bath. We go in there and she's like, "Yeah, hey, sorry about that. I was just getting stuff out of here. I'm just kind of between places right now." But this is, and she starts, uh, she starts pitching the apartment for me. <laughs> oh, she she this is, sale. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is a really uh, good apartment, man. Oh, uh, this is a really nice one. I ain't stayed in this one and this nice for, for this nice for a while. <laughs> Look at this view, man. She's this is a great view. She, she this is beautiful. And the water pressure is fantastic. <laughs> you should have Look how hot this months. radiator gets. It's nice. I would have taken her with me on every oh call. My Just God. every time you Just make a pick. About 10 bucks. Yeah. She was bucks. great. Oh it would do. Yeah, we're going to get matching suits like the Rain Man. <laughs> You're going to be my crackhead Rain Man. You should definitely, definitely, definitely rent this apartment, man. Every one you're going to show the night before you sneak her in. That's right. It's a very good apartment. That's right. Very good apartment. I'll see you in the morning. We'll do the same bit. Dude, we couldn't even look in the bathroom. She was like, oh, oh, the bathroom's kind of, I got some stuff in there. And just, she, yeah, she just pulled the door close. We Uh, can't sleep. Okay, as a a former crackhead, what do you think she has in there? Oh, uh, just her shit. Oh yeah, you yeah. Think she's it's got just all like, bags of shit. Yeah, she's got like bags of trash. She's got all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. garbage that she carries around. Yeah. <laughs> it's trash in there. <laughs> For it's sure. Crazy, you can still be a hoarder as a homeless. Well, because they do carry yeah. around a lot of. They're, they're, they're getting greedy. Trash. These homeless. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it. I'll go full Fox News right now. Getting too much of this. They're getting greedy. The minute they call the house insecure. 
you thought you had a voice. You're yeah. a fucking homeless. This, That's right. This what? younger yeah. generation of homeless, they don't. Uh-huh. They got it so easy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Once you start calling them unhoused, they get all uppity. <laughs> they start carrying around too many bags. <laughs> That's I right. Tucker that Carlson is. was right about that. <laughs> I just thought you knew it was trash. Like, how many times have you been in like a vacant apartment smoking crack with other homeless crack people? Even though you oh, were homeless, I've not done a bad you were homeless. Not you roll with like fancy crack people. I'm usually outside. Yeah. Usually homeless people outside. I haven't been in like uh, I, it's you get robbed in one of those okay. places. If there's too many people around that you don't know, yeah, you'll someone's, get robbed. Yeah, someone's gonna do yeah, it. Yeah. I've I never mean, smoked crack in like an abandoned place, but I've done it in like you know shitty apartments and shitty trailers shitty, back home. Oh, you yeah, smoked crack sure. before? Oh yeah, it's it's fun. It's fantastic. Whoa, how'd yeah. you quit? The best. Oh, I just did it casually. You know what I mean? I just smoked who, it socially. Who's honest. able to do yeah. crack casually? Yeah. Yeah. You just do it every now and then. Study your brain. <laughs> well, dude, I don't. Okay, here's here's what I don't like. Here's what I like. As somebody who kind of likes crack. I would well, not anymore. I'm like a grown up and shit. But I, you know, it's I don't mind if Rit, Mitt Romney gets on me for smoking crack. That's fine. He's yeah. a Mormon guy. He's mm-hmm. dead sober. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If someone's doing a line of basically the same thing exactly. with that baking soda, I will not be shamed by them. Exactly. I will no, no. not be shamed. I agree. But it's this. I heard you correct me if I'm wrong. I've never done crack before. I've done a lot of drugs, but never crack. The smoking part makes it more addictive than the snorting. Yeah, it gets I you. Mean, it, it feels better. Thing. It doesn't better, last right? as long, but it, it, it's, yeah. it's a it better is, eye. I mean, it's the whole. Here it is. But my my whole thing. It's the whole ride condensed into yeah. like you know 15 minutes 15 20 minutes right, right. It's that whole ride of that line like a line you'll get it like an hour and a half maybe you know no less than i don't that. know they step on I've, shit like so a, much a, a, good, no, a good a good, a good one line. yeah, yeah. Well, i'm talking about good drugs yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's okay. the same deal with shooting cocaine too i mean it's kind of a similar thing you where it's get you get yeah. that feeling yeah for 15 minutes you get it I all mean, shooting in one it is little, even quicker i, think. I mean have yeah. you ever done crystal meth yeah, 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 that is that's yeah. yeah I got my, I've I got, never shot that, but I've smoked it and I've snorted it. Yeah, yeah, I got a fan. Yeah. I got a lot it's of fans. Like crystal, not mess. like crank. We used yeah. to do crank when I was a kid, yeah. and then uh, I didn't find crystal till I moved to New York. Right, I was like I was like. I'm like that. I never did a ton of it, honestly, growing I, up. No, like no, it was no, just no. an every now and then. I yeah, think yeah, honestly, yeah, totally. a, you same know, with smoking. Crack, heroin's right. one thing, but because I have so many family members that are addicted to meth and watching them be yeah. actively addicts for twenty no, plus yeah, years, because you don't die, bad with it. Yeah. you don't die, no. you lose your teeth, right. but you don't die, and the high right. lasts forever, and it's cheap. Ish. Yeah, yeah. Crystal meth lasts so yeah. long. It's amazing. It does, man. People last than like crack. People will stay up for days. Like the friends that I I knew that got like really really bad into it would stay up for days and days and days yeah. and days. And I mean sometimes you know weeks on end. And and they you start going crazy from the sleep depth too. And the paranoia would get them so bad to where they would just you would run into them in the middle of a fucking bender, and they would be telling you like. I'm getting followed around because you see lights in the sky that are well, you yeah, know, planes sleep deprivation, or whatever. hallucinations and, on its own. Dude, you know? oh yeah. I mean, it might not even be a light that's even there. Yeah, but they right. would constantly think there was helicopters following them as if... Do you, and you only Wasn't want to, helicopters? Because even people who ever coked, like like just up a long right. time, like good fellows, like I'm seeing helicopters. Yeah. I, that's like a normal thing I've heard addicts talk about. Well, with Hank Hill... That's it real. really was helicopters. <laughs> it really was. Because, because here's the, the one guy that was right. Yeah. Well, but, but it, here's the thing. There's a lot of guys that are right, but they're dealing with thousands and thousands. Of, it's like, bro, do you know how expensive helicopter fuel is? <laughs> these fucking, you. these dirty Iowa crankheads thought that a fucking helicopter, that a team of guys was gonna was gonna zip line down from a helicopter. Talking about red team, this is blue team. We have the eight ball. I say again, we have the eight ball. Call up the SWAT team, we have the $200 worth of crank. Yeah, send the, send the second chopper back to base. It's fine. <laughs> it's just people's egos are so massive. It's fucking it's nuts. It's hilarious to me how important people think they are. Oh, well, that's part of like the high. The high. Yeah, that's you, part of the high. I I am, I've done coke before, and you're like, I'm the fucking greatest dude that ever yeah. It like takes all of your ego and just trumps it oh, to a level that you're like. I got religious with it at points in my life where I'm like, dude, I'm the next. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Eddie, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so have you ever been high on meth or crack and went to a job and had to work? Uh, or is it just for you recreational where you only did it like on a Saturday night, not a school I, night? Yeah, I, I think I would have I gone to, in high school, I probably would have done it. Yeah, I would have done it on Coke or, yeah. or meth a couple times. Yeah. I, I almost burned down a pizza head on acid once. A pizza head? 
What's pizza that? head. I, I'm so dumb. A pizza hut. Pizza, pizza hut. hut. Pizza hut. Just yeah. Some Iowa shit. I don't know. About <laughs> yeah. That. Like pizza head. That's pizza actually sounds like yeah. good pizza. <laughs> pizza head. <laughs> just fucking like, yeah, I ain't yeah. never had no pizza head. No, these pizza heads are fucking <laughs> legit. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> it's not. It's the Midwest. People are big back there. It's like dick in the box. But you know what I mean with a little extra toppings. Uh, no, I uh, I I went to. I had been up. Tripping all night. I love and pizza, then I, by the way. I, I loved it as a kid. Oh, dude, yeah. I mean, oh, with the deep no. dishes and all that. For sure. I was well, so I, I worked there in high school, and it was just a little like uh, uh, you, you know takeout place. You, you know what I mean? Like like yeah, didn't yeah. really have like a, not the eat in restaurant. Yeah, they, you, you yeah, 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 yeah. Those kind yeah. of went away like mid nineties. Yeah, yeah. Guess, right? those yeah. those were fun. fun. Those were fun. That's oh, what I'm talking about. The huts, I, dude. Yeah. I, I worked at one called Gumby's Pizza, like after the warehouse after, and that was that was a fuck ton of fun. Because, really? dude, we would get high and drunk all the yeah. time, and it, it was great. You were a waiter? But, uh, no, 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 a delivery driver. Oh, shit. Oh, it was great. Dude. It was great. Yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you, have you been seeing these videos? We'll go back to this side sidebar. Have you been seeing these vid videos? Some are actually real of, like, sex content makers will answer the door. Like, people who live in Iowa, like, women that are making sure. content. And they will actually open the door naked. Yeah, the pizza guy. That's uh, right. And, and and we had a rule at Gumby's. Sometimes it's very real because they yes. want to catch the real reaction. We had a rule at Gumby's. We don't care how late the orders are. If someone's willing to fuck you while you're delivering, <laughs> that, it even happened you, then. You you can call allowed. in and, and the boss would be like, yeah, go, go got, ahead. You know, I no, I never did. Word? I never did. <laughs> the code I got a Gumby one hundred and one. I'm gonna get my dick sucked. <laughs> There was no need for codes at that place. It was a degenerate. It was like a frat house, but it was people who were too dumb to go to so college. Really so does, we delivered It really pizzas. does happen from time to time. It, yeah, there was there was one uh, driver that it. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> That's awesome. Mm -hmm. There's a comic I know. She banged a FedEx guy. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Amazing. It's. I mean, if it was a UPS, I'd judge her. You know, you know I mean? <laughs> those jobs are yeah, so disgusting. shitty. Can you imagine? I took a job at Victoria's Secret thinking that I get laid a lot. Remember, yeah. we talked about this. Yeah. yeah. And that's a similar thing. Like, it maybe what one time in the right. fifty years you work at FedEx or uh, you, uh, the fucking mailman gets laid. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. You're better off just getting high and drunk yeah. at Gumby's and driving around. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Eat the shitty pizza and get yeah. drunk. <laughs> Dude, I remember getting that job. The uh, I I I went in to fill out an application because a friend of mine worked there, and uh, I kind of knew the boss loosely from high school. Like she went to the regular one, and I went to the high school for uh, dropouts and, and junkies and stuff. You know what I mean? What's a, what's and, a, a charter school? They, call uh, uh, they called them the alternative schools. Alternative. Uh, yes, uh, yes. Yes. So they called uh -huh. it a trade school when or the tech <laughs> tech. They used tech, to call yeah. it tech. Wow, so it was the, the opposite of that. Where you would go to learn how to be like a plumber or a oh plumber no mechanic. no that's a trade no, no, no. that's something different. We're this was a high school for if it. you get kicked out of the regular one, uh, you go to you this get one. like three chances. It and was they great. Put you in a oh, okay. place that's like they call them magnet schools. I think. I, I'm well, a bunch of us did have ankle <laughs> bracelets regularly, <laughs> including myself, while we were at school, and we had POs picking us up. We had the PO man. Instead of your mom and dad, yeah, the PO man would come and pick us up and take us to like a fucking meat wagon. Yeah. All right, kiddies, <laughs> pull up the soccer yeah. practice. Now, remember, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> After we'd get out of juvenile detention, we'd be in kind of like a, almost like a halfway out situation where we'd just have an ankle bracelet, and we so we could go home, but but we couldn't go home right after school. The PO van would pick us up and take us to this like National Guard armory or something, and and we would just they, like people would yell at us like we were in the army while we did homework. <laughs> But we didn't have any homework because it was a degenerate yeah, school like, for dropouts. We're not going to uh, think about some things and bring your thoughts back Yeah, tomorrow. yeah. Like, the, dude, the alternative school for dropouts, we didn't do homework. You know what I mean? So it's, uh, they were just like, then yell there, then sit there and think about how you're not going to go back to detention, you little piece of shit. And, we're like, All right, my, you know, and, and that's just what we did. So how did you burn down the pizza? Oh, I almost did. I, uh, I'd been up tripping all night. And so that that day, I was like, "Well, I I don't want to be have Jello brain all day, so I'm just going to take more acid, you know." Oh right, yeah. And I ended up taking way too much, and I was just tripping all day long through school. What were you seeing? With I mean, just colors, I, I, or? mostly color. I, I don't know. I, I a lot of the visuals with acid and stuff, like I don't see a lot of like actual physical objects. You a lot see colors, it was, right? Yeah, well, yeah. A lot of like at night though. It's like a big, at night and in the shadows, would, you tend to see more darkness, weird shit. Yeah, yeah when, darkness, the, you'll see yeah, more stuff. Yeah. during the day, it's no. just the feeling of like yeah I you see not, a lot of trails like, uh, and colors i'm not a normal okay right part of society it, even not. when you are so fucked up you're seeing objects that aren't there you're so mentally disoriented yeah. by that point that the objects are like not even yeah. 
a fraction of what's going on. But you're still functioning at a level thing. where you could sit in class and make it to the next class, though? Yeah, okay. I did it you're so... Able, okay. There was a period in, I want to say, the sophomore year of high school or the junior, one of those, where for about six to eight months, I was doing acid on average like every other day. Oh, wow. And I, was, I was taking a lot of acid. Yeah. You were experienced. Yeah, I was taking a lot. Mm. But this, this day was still even a little too much for me. <laughs> I really overdid it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I overestimated how hard I was going to trip off, off, off these fucking blotters I took. Well, I'm and sure so, you took a lot because the thing about acid is you take it every other day because otherwise it doesn't yes. work. Oh. So to get it to mm -hmm. work, you would have to you take... You got to take like two, three times. Yeah, 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 you right. really have to fucking take a lot the next day. Yeah. And I, but I did that before I like as the peak was coming down I was like if I just kind of I could keep oh, the peak going out. Yeah, and I and I just I was like it. I'll yep. just take maybe twice as much as I did and I was like whoa now I'm just blasting yeah. completely gone yeah fresh start and, yeah and it was <laughs> but I was tripping so much that I, I was kind of used to just you're, you're, in my, you're good yeah, at it yeah, yeah, yeah if yeah, you yeah. do any even like yeah. hard, like hallucinogens if you take them enough you will be able to function yeah. on a decent amount of them. 10,000 you know? hours. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Malcolm Blybell said it back. <laughs> exactly. And those things last like eight fucking hours. You know what I mean? So it, you get there yeah, quicker. You're talking about like a couple weeks. Yeah. You know what I mean? You get good. <laughs> I was a tripiologist by uh, my sophomore year in high school. That's right. And uh, so I I, uh, I, I I go all through school like that and I start coming down off the peak as I'm getting to work and I haven't eaten in over 24 hours. Uh, yeah. So and, and you don't feel hungry right. on there. Like the yeah. physical, but, but when it really starts to hit you you're oh, like oh this yeah, is like debilitating at once yeah and, yeah, and there yeah. was a we would keep the pizzas that were already cooked on top of the oven and i i see there's one up there but it's from like way earlier in the day and i'm like this needs to be reheated and we had one of those conveyor belt ovens and so the normal method for reheating those was take it out of the cardboard box and put it on something else <laughs> i just put the cardboard box to the oven and uh that's uh, not the vivera way yeah <laughs> like let's just skip the middle man <laughs> i'll eat the box I'm just so out of it. I just shoved a cardboard box <laughs> in the fucking pizza oven. And then you fuck yeah. the oven for the rest of the day. They got to like yeah. clean it. It smells like cardboard. Yeah. And dude, I just, I'm over washing dishes or something. <laughs> you into the task? It's out front smoking a cigarette. Dude, yeah, I, I, just I, I, totally I just being tripping responsible. <laughs> I put it in and I walked away. I walked away and then I hear somebody go, I smell something burning. What is that? And then almost like the little sobriety voice, kind of the voice of ring kicks in and like, Jake, you're fucking moron you know and i was just like ah oh, but i've been on all the drugs you can't listen to every little thing your brain tells you know what i mean plus that voice is like, so quiet yeah yeah and i was like yeah, yeah, yeah it's the most so meek shit. voice yeah like a 50s housewife yeah jake hun i don't i think you might have burned shut up bitch yeah. yeah right if i listen to every little thought i had on this much acid for the after this long i'd be i i'd have my own cult right now in the fucking desert and i'd be trying to you know stab actresses or something like i you know you can't listen to all those voices or you go full man you know, I'm trying to stay oh, yeah, in the, the Manson writing filter. for the Beach Boys <laughs> level of Manson and not the, you know, and so I, I'm just going to ignore this voice that the burning has nothing to do with me. And then I, and then I, <laughs> who the fuck put a box in the oven? And I'm like, no, that was me. That's right. No, it was me. I should have listened to that you voice. Know? Yeah, that voice. Hey, broken clock is right twice a day. You know what I mean? You got me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I've been up for days. So here we go. And uh, I was like, ah, oh, that's me. Sorry, I forgot to take it out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you admitted like, to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's the best part. Oh yeah, that's mine. Is yeah. that is that still good? Uh, yeah, I am uh, starving. Did it get, did it get warm? <laughs> uh, no, this this twat took it out of the oven before it, it heated up. So, but then you know she's all like, I, I, the, oh, it was Matt, one of the uh, assistant managers who was a real twat. They always are because yes. they want to be the head. Yes. So any oh, little power, yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. now I could, I got leverage yeah. and I got authority over you. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's but the the head guy was pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we would that's get usually high the, and drunk, even yeah. though I was like you know a teenager. Yeah. And shit, so he was, he was a, Isn't that amazing? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Those jobs, he's like the only, only place he feels cool <laughs> is at that job. Adults with just getting right. fucked up with children. Yeah, <laughs> and then you you look at those adults with your kids, you're like, ah, it's the cool ones. That's one of the good adults. And you look back at it now, it's like, hey, I probably should have been in jail. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah a real piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, put me in some compromising position. <laughs> Right, yeah, but then it was, so she like writes me up and she's like, "This is an official write up. Oh, this goes on your permanent record like oh, a pizza. Yeah. Like, oh, Christ, Lady, I've done fifty tabs of acid. Yeah, yeah I it, don't care. Yeah, I don't care at all. And she's like, Ed, Ed, um, if you get three of these, you can get fired. And tomorrow, three. yeah." <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. If you get 20 of these, That's right. you could be reprimanded That's right. and then fired. Yeah. She sounded like Joe Biden trying to do uh, a That's sport and then Yahoo. You know what I mean? It's like, how dare you bombing way too many people? I'm giving you $20 billion. But if you keep this bullshit up, BB, yeah, there's going to be way less billions in the next check, Let you me motherfucker. Let find out you didn't put the lights on. I'll yeah. fucking leave you where I find you, motherfucker. That's right. That's right. It was, she was like, yeah, she was Joe Biden talking to Netanyahu. And that's pretty much what was happening. It was, uh, and she's like, and tomorrow, you have to talk to the GM. And I was just kind of like, oh, the GM's not going to give a fuck. I, I can hide with that guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah, so I'm expecting well, he's gonna he's gonna be like, all right, we need to talk. Stop getting so high, you almost burn the place down. But seriously, that's kind of funny. I thought that's what he's gonna be like. I walk in the next day, he just sees me and instantly goes, ah! Ah, I heard about you, man. I heard you. I heard you. Put a, I heard you put a cardboard box in the oven and almost burned the place down. I was like, yeah. He goes, ah! Ah! I thought you was bullshitting. What were you on, man? I was. I was like acid. I was on acid. He goes, ah! Holy shit. Jake, tell us uh, where people can find you. Uh, and uh, You had a special you just filmed. It's yes. It's not titled yet, but I we heard a lot of cool shit about it, so I can't wait for that to yes, come out. So. Yes. I talked about the time I OD'd on dog medication, actually, when I was a teenager. <laughs> so oh I, so, yeah. We didn't Thanks. get to that one. That no, I, we didn't. We didn't. Well, it didn't happen at work, so, <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, you can find like me worm uh, medication. <laughs> dog. Well, now to be fair, Mectin. Yeah. No, 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 no. Way before it was cool. Here, yeah, way before exactly. it was cool. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'd have a huge podcast if I'd have done that. You know. Now. No. No. Here's the thing. CNN didn't need to spin it at all. There wasn't like a people version for fevers and a, this is for a gland that humans don't even have. It, now it was. Uh, to be fair, I also was doing, taking like oxycontin and oh, yeah. Valium and like. <laughs> Xanax and drinking, but like the dog medication was the because I got made fun of mercilessly uh, by the other kids who OT'd on people medicine when I was in rehab. It was uh, they were real dicks. You can see the rest. You can see the bit about it. Watch the yeah, bit about yeah. it when the special comes out. Watch Plus the bit at. about. It. Yes, I am at Jake Vever on all socials. The special should be out hopefully end ish of this month, sometime next month. So keep an eye for it. Um, Perfect. But yeah, Amazing. this has been great, man. Awesome, Thank you dude. for having Thanks me for on. Uh, JoshAcardo.com at Josh Ricardo. We are going to be in Houston at Megaton Brewery uh, doing a live podcast of Working Class Holes uh, on May 10th, Friday, 7 p.m. And then we're doing two shows on May 11th at Megaton Brewery, stand-up comedy shows uh, at 7.30 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. And also we're going to be on tour in June throughout Connecticut, Seattle, all that stuff. So just go there and buy tickets go there follow us uh, on instagram working class holes uh go to email us at working working class comedians at gmail.com follow me at ed mcgowan comedy we'll see you guys again next week you can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every wednesday you can follow us on instagram at working class holes also make sure you watch the full show on youtube all you got to do is type in working class holes and please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend come on 